Greetings everyone. So finally we have the trading online and here I want to actually explain to you how to use this FN because I have seen a lot of people sadly using their asses whenever they try to uh, put some item uh, on the auction house. Guys, please don't put some garbage inside here. Nobody is gonna buy that fucking shit. I mean the prices alone is fucking ridiculous. You, you put some purple shitty item and you expect people to buy it. <clears throat> so how to access this uh, trading center is by here, obviously. Click at the Tempest Arsenal and go through the trade. You will have these lists. You will have an action now, which is not going to be here today because there is a, there is a notice of 24 hours before the items even goes online. As for favorites, these items, which you have added to favorite from here from this from uh, sorry uh where it is on oh, notice you click at notice and you put any item in favorite for example this one and then wait here in the favorites and you will find it here so when uh, uh tomorrow comes or basically after 24 hours this item will be seen in action and people are going to be able to bid on now you should be normal human being and not a monkey why? Because I have seen so much garbage on the action house. So here, I'm, I'm here to basically guide you to know if your item is worth something or not. Now, if you go to uh, or notice, here are the items that you are going to see tomorrow. But in general, if you click in action, in action, in action are the items that you can buy. None of them will be able to, you will be able to buy today, but uh, tomorrow. So, how to know if the item is good or how to know if the item is bad? First of all, let us check on notice and see if the item is good or not. If first of all, the item, despite the fact that it is looks decent, it is fucking overpriced. If you are going to pay three thousand dollar for this item, yes, it has a nice stats, obviously, but again, it is so fucking much. I mean, in three thousand dollar, unless you desperate like me or something you might go for this but again this is overpriced overpriced item like uh, an ultra should be go going for a thousand dollars I think since it's very hard to get but alongside a nice test because nice test here matters a lot or a counter gear if you can create a counter gear uh, and then uh, find them yeah sure counter gears like the, the anti-fire one or something let, let us see this is a reasonable price here as you can see but again not all the stats is bad but again it is more reasonable than putting a three thousand fucking dollars and guys keep in mind something that the red immortal is going to be there so i do not really advise you to go crazy on this man man who the fuck is gonna buy all of that i'm i'm, I'm wondering to be honest maybe if again if someone is desperate as i said otherwise i really don't see a reason for you to go banana on this what the fuck is this like seriously guys okay so how to know if the item itself is good in general or not look don't get me wrong some people hate the fucking rng for example me i fucking hate the shit out of rng so what are we looking for when we are trying to sell our items or when we are trying to buy an item here all the spells could be bought because most of the rare spells are actually useful but when you are going to buy something you need to see first if the stats is reasonable for example how much troop lethality it has because that's the best stats then how much troop health it has if it has reds a lot of reds it has orange a lot of orange then this is obviously decent and look at this for example this is a level 4 skill you have to look at this too if you like all of these then you can buy it but what is the problem with this part it has purple stats so you cannot just ask for a monkey prices for it it's it is not right so, but obviously well, this is your money and, and, and that's up to you now there is something you would be noticing here the more power the most likely the stats is very high or the skill itself is at higher tier for example this one let's take 
those two as an example and say the difference between them. The 3.5 million. So what is the difference in here? The difference is this this scale rising power is at max. Okay, but it has two trash uh, stats. Enemy behemoth damage zero and at purple and troop health, which ruins the item quality. Guys, this item, if you are going to be a thousand fucking dollar for an item, it better be worth your fucking time. Okay, that's that's the, yeah, health amplification, attack, sure, but two stats are garbage. It's not worth that much to me. I, I would spend, I'm talking about a mid spender by the way, oh, $700, that's like two or three events of the best bundles that you can overall increase your stats while waiting for a better stats plus the skill is not really rare the skill is not rare if i would go for rising valor i need at least to be followed up to have some nice stats with it now let us see the other emperor league in here okay so again it has the same issue with the exception of rising valor having literally that's level three and the other one was level four again i would have recommended you buy if 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 the person who is adding skills is adding a red orange skills guys it's gonna stick with you for so much time and if you have money to spare on this it better be worth it look when i try to craft i craft and i always only work on the skills that is full orange or too much red let me, I, I put these here as an example. It doesn't have to be for sale. Okay, so you don't ask me for it, please. Okay, for example, let, let me show you a couple of the items and how do I actually, how do I even put it or not? Should I even put it or not? See, that's an example. All of the skills are orange and red. That's how you are supposed to put your item because people want to buy something nice. Don't put your shit in, please, because nobody's gonna buy that. Okay, and here here is another another item troop lethality health lethality lethality this is a very fucking decent stats you put it this way when you are going to put your item for sale your item has to be all orange all unless unless you are going to be a reasonable person and not put it at, 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 the, at the mad price this is one of the one of the most fucking fucking amazing skills this patch and it works so much fucking good if the enemy does not have a Carlos. Keep in mind, Carlos does protect from this one. But again, it works if the enemy is stunned, is disarmed, or if silenced. So it, it has more uses in the future. Again, there is another skill in here. Look, everything is on red or orange red or orange don't sell trash items on the action house please and flood it with useless items now let's see what you are actually going to get by selling your right if you happen to sell just because you are going to sell please what the fuck are you doing uh if, if you have a decent one of the decent items and you want to sell you can sell it for a reasonable price and then here you can buy tempest in this is like so basically it's like a cycle so here is my question to you. Are you buying? Are you basically selling or buying so you can buy more Tempest so you can work in, on other items? So basically it might be counterproductive given the fact that the luck is so fucking shit in general. So what what is your purpose for even participating or selling your decent items? If you are lacking the behemoth cells and everything like the other items who buys speed ups from this it doesn't make any sense really if you are someone who wants serums who wants behemoth cells from these stuff yeah sure go ahead otherwise i really don't see a real reason why would anyone sell a nice item that he has so imagine you have a fucking amazing uh tempest are you gonna replace it with a hundred fragments just use it for yourself man if you have a spare that you want to sell or if your tempest is really one of a kind and it's gonna give you so much yeah sure why not but i promise you even if you bought that 20 tempest and it says again you won't be <laughs> you won't carry the same one that you have made and i can give you a lot of examples like seriously look at how many uh, of my collections i had i have four enlisting and i have broken so many 
let me give you an example of me someone who is a spender here see all of these items are ascended that's that's five another five and another four in here so that's 14 items here another five another five another five one and that's 16 that's literally 30 items in front of you and none of them is ultra despite the fact that I have already broken so much items so if you really have a decent item uh, I really recommend you to hold into this item uh, for yourself obviously if you want to sell there is one more information I have to be honest about it everyone goes crazy early on and then people will become less horny yes they are horny right now they want to sell their tempest so if there is something for sure all the tempest prices is going to be high early on early days but then they are all going to drop like nothing because they will realize people are not very fucking stupid to buy all of these over costly items even unless they are like seriously depressed well i'm depressed but again it is so much fucking item so much fucking uh, money for the item i don't like I, again i need to look for a nice test i'm not gonna buy yeah yeah i'm not gonna buy a very nice skill but then i lose like what like 30 percent or 40 percent stat no thank you if you want to sell me something send me something that at least orange stats with a skill yeah it will be a good money for it but not something that has a fucking purple stats because you you were horny one day and you decided hey let me decide and see if i can ascend the item or not and please for the love of god don't put me the one the level one item let me see if i can find it here where it is I'm not sure like some some I, I I don't get it why people are putting these items here what the fuck is this why did you put this what the fuck are people doing like what the fuck explain to me what's this why are you selling this for a hundred dollars is uh, are people just want to sell because they want to sell because that's something new and they wanna try it I I, I don't get it really what the fuck why, why did you do that? Okay, why why would anyone even ascend this item? Free to play or not, why would you do that? This is very fucking painful. Oh my god. And look, look, look at this, guys. Okay, look at this, guys. This is a $120 item. Why? Because it has one, one red stat. And once you open up the second, it's gonna most likely be a fucking purple. Guys, please don't do that. Oh my god, that's very fucking painful to watch. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, please, please, please. Uh, you use your money wisely. Don't go crazy with this event. Everything is gonna drop later on. If you are depressed, go ahead. It's your money, but my recommendation. We still have Red Tempest coming. And a thousand dollar for item is really too fucking much. And even if you wanted to be that much for the item... It better be worth it. It better be having a fucking nice stats. Otherwise, don't buy it, man. Don't buy it. Like, seriously, that's too much. Look at how much you can do with the Southern. Like, seriously, guys. That's it. And have a wonderful day.